Parmesan and garlic are like two peas in a pod. They just go together. And my favorite was from Buffalo Wild Wings. But unfortunately, it is loaded with calories. So today, in the Anabolic Laboratory, we are making a low calorie, about a third of the calories to be exact, version of Parmesan garlic sauce. My name is Nick and I have my master's in exercise physiology and I'm an online fitness coach and on YouTube I make original recipes and I also give fitness advice as well. So if you're into that kind of thing, subscribe to the channel and like this video. So if you've been looking for a low calorie version where you won't pack on the pounds, which I can't find any on YouTube, then let's get into it. First things first, and when trying to recreate a recipe that was created by McDonald's, B-dubs, any big chain, you want to look at the actual ingredient list or the front cover. And it says roasted garlic. So what that means is that we have to use our garlic and actually roast it, which is super simple. It does take a good amount of time though, so we want to do this first. I already have my oven preheating to 400 and I cut just enough so that the tops of the garlic are showing. So we take some aluminum foil and our olive oil spray and just barely, really that's all you need. And just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper as well. Now all we have to do is cover them up and make sure that you get good sized garlic cloves because we do, or garlic, what are these th full things called? I don't even know. But make sure you get big ones because we need 25 grams and it almost takes a full big one to get those full 25 grams of roasted garlic out. So in our oven we go and I set my timer for 30 minutes. Now let's get everything else together. This may seem like a lot of ingredients, and it is. However, if you've been following the channel for any amount of time or you do pretty much any cooking whatsoever, you have probably 15 of the 17 ingredients. So you might need to pick up a couple, but there really isn't much that you'll have to pick up. I'll start with the wet ingredients first and we're gonna go with four tablespoons of light mayonnaise. As always, you need a scale and everything that I use is down in the description below. If you need to purchase anything, this is my favorite scale. Everyone loves it, whatever. Next, Greek yogurt. We won't be using that much of it, only 45 grams. With those of you that are sensitive to the taste of Greek yogurt, with all of the spices that we put in here, you're literally not gonna be able to tell whatsoever. Now the most controversial item in this whole list will be an egg yolk. Just the egg yolk, it adds a bunch of smoothness and a bunch of flavor. However, you can substitute one tablespoon of mayonnaise if you would like. It's just not as flavorful, and it's a little bit chunkier than if you just use the egg yolk. 20 grams of water. If you look, the number one ingredient on parm garlic sauce is soybean oil. And if you guys didn't know, the first ingredient's what's the most, and the last ingredient's what's the least amount in the actual recipe. So oil is by far the most used. I still wanna add a little bit in there, but just a little bit. So that's why we're gonna use a teaspoon of olive oil or five grams. We also need a teaspoon of lemon juice. And honestly, I haven't even weighed it out yet with the amount of times I've done it. I just literally squeeze it into a teaspoon, quite literally over my sink. And there we are. In the original recipe, they use corn syrup, but of course we're not gonna do that because that would add about 100 calories. So instead, we're gonna use sugar-free Miss Buttersworth and we're gonna use 30 grams of it here. And this looks disgusting right now, I'm not gonna lie. However, once you get it all together and you put the trust in me, it's going to be absolutely delicious. And now two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. If you don't use the apple cider vinegar, you'll have more of a bite to it. You can use white vinegar, but if you like that bite, use white vinegar instead. Now two teaspoons, I'll let you know exactly how much it weighs when I do it right now. So seven grams. And then we're gonna add five grams of swerve or whatever artificial sweetener that you would like. And of course we gotta add Parmesan to garlic parm. So we are adding 15 grams of palm majon. Now you can wait to give it a mix once you add everything, but I like to give it a mix once all the wet ingredients are in it, and then I'll add my dry ingredients and then give it another mix after that. Quick side note, if you do use mayo, you're not gonna get that same Buffalo Wild Wings color. And what's interesting is once I did add the egg yolk, it gives it that like yellowish hue. I can feel it. 
down in my plums. You're getting a nice bluish hue. If it's a little bit lighter, no big deal. Still be a great taste. Now we're gonna add a half gram of marjoram, a gram of basil, 12 grams of salt, a gram of oregano. And if you look at the actual sauce, you can see all the red flakes in there. Definitely got them crushed red peppers in there. So we're gonna put a gram of that. If you want it a little bit more spicy, which I do, I put two grams, but that's up to your taste preference. A gram of black pepper. And you know, everyone's gotta start somewhere with a recipe. And the first re recipe I found was healthy junk food, which made like a full fat version. And I tried it out and it was excellent. That's when I started experimenting with lower calorie options. And finally, after about 10 tries, I got here and this one is absolutely delicious. But shout out to healthy junk food. The last ingredient is xanthan gum. You don't need this. It'll just be a little bit more buffalo sauce type, a little bit more watery. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's how um, Wingstop has their sauce. It's definitely a little bit more buttery and like loose. But a half gram is all we really need of this. I'm gonna mix this again. We still have about 15 minutes left until the garlic's done. And then I do have to let that cool down. So if you do have an opportunity when you first get home or whenever you wanna do this, you can make the garlic ahead of time, have it sitting in the fridge, grab it out of the fridge when you need it and just push it through the press. And then you don't have to wait for the garlic to be ready once you're at this point. Now the last part of this process is super simple. All we have to do is squeeze our garlic out of each little pit that it's in. And you should have a little bit of browning on the top of this garlic. That's how you know it's done and ready. And technically you could put this right into the sauce and then use like a blender and blend it up. But I'm actually gonna use a press that will just press it right into there. And then we'll mix. Now I'm gonna weigh about a gram extra out because some of it gets caught up into the press. So these are actually extra and these are delicious. I could eat roasted garlic by itself. I'm kind of like a garlic fiend. Roasted garlic so multi-versatile, you can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna wrap this back in the aluminum and just save it for another day. Now literally I'm just pressing everything through. Now if I wasn't recording this, this would have taken me probably 10 minutes to do. Once all the ingredients are in front of you, it's just adding them into a bowl and mixing. You should not be intimidated by this at all. And like I said, you should have most of these ingredients already anyway. And I call this anabolic, not because it has super high protein. This is a little bit different. I kind of include anabolic as in it helps you grow muscle while still being able to maintain your weight as far as your fat. So I don't think of this as much of a muscle builder as it is a fat gain prevention tool or recipe, however you wanna put it. Now this recipe is very similar to my cookie dough or most recipes where a lot of ingredients come together. This is great right now. I could put my finger in it, eat it, love it. However, if you let it sit for about four or five, six hours, especially like a full 24 hours, that is when this is at its peak. And I've had a few in there for, I would say almost two weeks and they're still good. So you have time as long as you keep it refrigerated to use the sauce itself. This comes out to about 240 grams, which is about eight 30 gram servings, which is the same amount as the servings in here. So let's get to the macros. In my anabolic Parmesan garlic sauce for a 30 gram serving, we are looking at 48 calories, about two grams of protein, three grams of carbs, and three and a half grams of fat. It might sound like a lot when there are zero calorie recipes or zero calorie condiments in the store, but there's none that I could find online. And the Buffalo Wild Wings Parmesan garlic macros are 130 calories per serving, 13 grams of fat, three carbs, and one gram of protein. I mean, it's a no brainer. Obviously we need something to pair the Parmesan garlic sauce with. So in the next video, we will be making boneless wings, Buffalo Wild Wings style. So I would definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see the wings being made in front of your eyes and many more other copycat recipes like the McChicken I just made, which everyone loves. But until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do sis.